Hey YouTube, this is um, day one of our bourbon trail. We're in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky, and I'm standing in the bathroom because this is like the only place in this room that there's any light. But um, uh, we came up last night. Our friends that we're here with, I rode up with them, and then Randy showed up about 9:30 because he was late getting in. And um, so we are getting ready to go down and eat breakfast, and then we're going to hit the bourbon trail. Um, our first stop is Wild Turkey Distillery here in Lawrenceburg, and um, we're going to do that tour, and then we're going to run up to Versailles to Woodford Trace. Re nah, that's not what it's called. Woodford Reserve and um, do that trail and then come back to Lawrenceburg to do Four Roses. Um, the, for some reason, the Woodford Reserve Distillery, their uh, tours don't start until 10 o'clock, so that's why we're gonna do one here and then run east and then come back here because everything else is west of here. And I think we're gonna, we're probably gonna end up wrapping it up today with um, Heaven Hill because they're the ones open the latest. And then tomorrow we'll do Jim Beam and Maker's Mark. So, um, I will videotape tidbits along the day, the, or through the day to let you see, you know, cool stuff that we see or whatever, and, um, I'll see you in a few. Alright, so this is where we stayed in Lawrenceburg, the Holiday Inn. I didn't realize, like, when I was booking rooms on Priceline, looking for cheap rooms, couldn't find any. And um, it was hard to find rooms, period, because um, this weekend is Derby weekend. So um, the Kentucky Derby is going on at Churchill Downs, and it is like almost impossible to find a room within like a 200 mile radius, I guess. No, not that much, but it's really hard to find a room. So I guess I should just be thankful for the rooms I do have. What? Sorry, Randy's trying to get my attention. Um, one thing I have to say, I absolutely love staying in this area of Kentucky around the Lexington area because every time I stay here, the water makes my hair do awesome. <laughs> I know that sounds stupid, but I always like staying up here because I don't know if it's soft water or hard water, but I just love it. Um, Crap, I forgot to take my pills. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Okay, guys, this is my husband, Randy. Say hi. <laughs> and we are going to bourbon trail it. Yay! I'm better. <laughs> okay, this is Terry. <laughs> and her husband, Bo, is right there. Wave, Bo. Wave. Well, you know, you got to be prepared for the bourbon trail. So this is Terry. I work with her and we're going to go bourbon trail it. Yay! All right. What do you think this is? <laughs> Probably like Who would have guessed? It totally does not look like that. Hold that up again. Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> There's natural. We're not mixing it or anything like that. We're not adding any heat to it. It's natural. Ugh. It smells. It smells good. like bourbon vomit. It is. This is. <laughs> Like it looks like it's flowing off. 
off the side there. It's just coming right off the top of the barrel. That is just freaky! Neat! Distillery is um, the same thing. It's the barrel that gives them the different taste. From right here, but down there is the Kentucky River. You can't see it down there in the valley, it's down there. So that's where we started off in 1869 down on the banks of the Kentucky River. We were started by the Rippy Brothers. So we didn't move up to the top of the hill here until the 1890s when that railroad trestle was built. We moved up here to our distillery just below so that we could take advantage of the railroad. So we've been there ever since. The last time that railroad was used though was 1985. But we've been here ever since in our old distillery below us uh, up until last year when we moved to our new distillery up on top of the hill. Okay, we're inside one of the warehouses. And you can smell the wild turkey. Whew. So you all figure out what day these rest will fill? December 20th, 10, last right. year. Right. Hey, that was bottled on just birthday. And they've already birthday. smelled, they already had this smell from just one year. Well, it's this just these are on just December the ones that are running We fill all our warehouses simultaneously. So if you look down the corridor, you'll see that bourbon soaks out into that barrel when it's expanding it's inside there. Up. So this is only from a six or seven year old barrel. Like, so a 10 year old will soak even deeper out into that wood. So as it expands, it soaks out in there and picks up all that all color and flavor. Barrels. So as it's expanding in there and aging, it leaves that that flavor down in there. So it's got some of that bourbon flavor still down in there. Okay, this is really gross, but all that white stuff with the black stuff. See that? That's like mold that comes off of these barrels. It's kind of ugh. <laughs> She told us what it's called, but I can't think of what it's called. But like the whole building's covered with it. Yeah. It's on the outside and the inside and all over the barrels and ugh. 
Okay, we're getting ready to try the Kentucky Spirit and the Wrestle Reserve. Or a spiky, spicy, drier. Okay, what are you drinking? The rare. The rare. The rare breed. Something like that. That reserve? Yeah, that's what I just drank. So what are you drinking? What are you drinking? That's what my that's the reserve. Try it. That about killed me. No, no, that's the that's the Kentucky Spirit. Yeah, you. Should, I'm gonna have to drive. I can't drink this. Tastes like. I like it. The Kentucky Spirit. The Kentucky Spirit. Yeah. Down that bad boy. I just I couldn't handle it. I took a sip. I couldn't do it. What are you drinking? It's not bad at all. That's what I drink. Huh? No, that's the Russell. Uh huh. That that's right there. I haven't. I can't it's do it. It's very mild. No, if I could do it, you could do it. I can't do it. This is like I can't. I tried the other one. I can't do it. I'm a wimp. Okay, just drink it. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. That, that, yeah. huh. that is not a <laughs> That is a prime piece right there. Put me on spot here. Looking awkwardly. I got you. <laughs> okay. All right. So are you going to try the Kentucky Spirit? I can't. I just can't do it. I can't. Here, video. <laughs> I'm only doing a sip. That's all. I can't get the of my This? No, that rare breed. <laughs> You're right. That's not as bad as the other one. It's not. Woo. Here. Can't do it. Are you literally trying to get me drunk? I am. I'm going to take advantage of you later. You need to try that, Kelly. Did you try that? No, I don't want to. I can't do it. That's very good. I like Oh, you all right? I'm going to be driving, baby. He just did like four shots of bourbon. Has he tried the amazing honey? You want to try the honey? I've already done one. He's like, I'm all about it. It's really good. This is the American honey. It's really good. Here. Uh, that smells sweet. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it is so real. <laughs> it's sweet. Here. Where did that ever eat? You guys like it? No. Is it too no. sweet? Yeah. No, no, it's okay. I like the American honey. I put it in my pocket. Look. <laughs> But then I just poured it on. Yay, Randy! What does that make you? Five shots. I made him drink mine. I just couldn't do it. Thank you for our tour. You did a great job. Thank you guys for having us. Okay, so we have three more distilleries to do today, and Randy's going to be a happy guy with us. Okay, it's. We're done with wild turkey <laughs> and I'm driving because it's 10 o'clock in the morning and Randy Mann's done five shots of wild turkey. So I'll be driving probably the rest of the day. I love him. He's my man. <laughs>